The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak to him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But Jesus said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Today, October 1st, while it is the feast of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, it is also the start of the Rosary Month. So why is October Rosary Month? Bakit hindi na lang sa September kasi doon ang birthday ni Mama Mary, September 8. And the simple answer there is that on October 7, on the 7th of October, is the feast day of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. So this month is dedicated to the Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. And in this case, our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary of Manawag on the local context. But on a wider context, it is celebrated on October, precisely as I've said before, because of the Feast of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. Pero bakit nagkaroon ng Feast of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary? And we have to go back some hundreds of years, specifically on October 7, 1571, 50 years after our country was discovered by Magellan. What happened on this date, October 7, 1571? The Battle of Lipanto. And in this battle, it is a very important and crucial battle because at stake is the whole of Christendom in Europe. Ang mga Muslim, specifically the Ottoman Empire, are trying to invade Europe, the whole of Europe, the whole of Italy, the whole of the Christian countries. At kung sila'y mananalo dito, pagsak ang Kristyanismo. Pope Pius V, the patron saint uh, of the town of Orbistundo, whose parish priest, San Antonio Quintans, Father Antonio Quintans, sent me here. Siya sana yung magmimisa, pero ako yung nautusang pumunta dito. Pope Pius the fifth, also St. Pius the fifth, was the Pope during that time. He was a former Dominican, and prior to that, two years before, he already has written a papal bull encouraging the devotion to the Most Holy Rosary. But before that, at 12th century, si St. Dominic, siya na yung kwan, nag, uh, nag, nag promote ng devotion na ito, along with St. Peter. And Pope Pius V, perhaps nalalaman niya because during that time, the Ottoman Empire were a power, parang sila yung superpower. And it is not only through tactics na mananalo ang mga Kristiyano. And so, he asked the people to pray the rosary. And, if, and so, during that day, despite overwhelming odds, nanalo yung mga Kristiyano. Nanalo yung mga Kristiyano against the superior forces of the Ottoman Empire, yung mga Muslim. And because of this, in honor of the Blessed uh, Mother, it was devoted, the day was devoted to Mary, Our Lady of Victory. 
But later on, pinalitan, naging Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary. To focus more on the devotion of the Rosary. But the devotion to the Rosary, as I've said, was promoted before. And prior to that, yung meditation, yung mga may beads, beads, it was already used by the Christian to meditate. For example, yung 150 na beads to represent the, the 150 psalms in the Bible. Later on, naging Our Father na lang, our, kasi hindi naman madaling may memorize yung mga psalms na 150, at yung mga may kopya lamang na libro, yung mga monks. And so, yung ordinary people, dinadasal na lang nila yung rosary in lieu of the 150 psalms or the breviary. Later on, itong devotion na ito, it grew it is on its own. So much so that later on, during the reign of St. Pope John Paul II, dinagdagan niya ng luminous mystery. And upon his elevation as the Pope, sabi niya, ang favorite prayer niya is the rosary. Ano ba ang nasa rosary? Pagtitingnan natin, it is a repetitive, repetitive prayer. When I was younger, nung bata pa ako, ito yung dinadasal namin sa bahay at night. And alam ko lang sa rosary, hanggang third, second or third mystery lang. Kasi by second or third mystery, nakatulog na ako sa paana ng aking ina. So later on, it became a habit. It was only later on in my seminary life that whenever I pray the rosary, it relaxes me because it puts me into a situation. A situation wherein I enter into the mystery of the life of Christ. This is also the outcome of meditation and contemplation pero ito yung pinakasimpleng paraan to enter into the mystery of the life of Christ and in entering the mystery of the life of Christ we are not only beginning to we do not only begin to understand our Lord by establishing this personal relationship with him pero we begin to Cultivate also this love for our Lord. Kasi pag naiintindihan natin, pag we enter into this mystery of His life, the more we know our Savior. And the more we know our Savior, the more that we love Him. And the more we love Him, the more we obey Him and follow Him as His disciple. And if we enter into this mystery of the life of Christ, who is the better guide than Our Lady, Our Mama Mary? Na si Mama Mary nandoon sa lahat ng, uh, in all the life of Jesus here on earth, nandoon siya palagi. So siya yung pinaka the best na guide in entering into the mystery of the life of Christ. And that is why we pray the rosary to be closer to Christ through the guidance of Mama Mary. And as I've said, the more we are closer to Christ, the more we know Him. And the more we know Christ, the more we love Him. The more we love Christ, the more we will follow Him. And if we follow Christ, we are truly His disciples and true sons and daughters of God and of Mama Mary. Amen.